All right. Hi, I'm Ken Collins of Bad Shoe Productions. I'm doing a short video here on how to use the uh, servo and one to accumulator tool that's for the AODE and 4R70W transmission. Now, on the AOD servo, which is right here, you want to put the uh, and you'll see there's labeling on the front here, which will uh, let you know which holes that the bolts go in. One will go right here, and then one here where I have OD labeled on that hole. And it will go in this hole and this hole. So you just simply line the holes up, run the bolts down. They're six millimeter bolts are about uh, about two and a half inches long and all you want to do is just snug up the bolts you don't have to get real wild here and then run the uh, pinch bolt down and this uh, the nuts here they're uh, 9 16 and you just run it down hits the top of the pin on the servo you want to run it down just enough to relieve the tension on the snap ring. Go in here with some snap ring pliers and release the snap ring. You know, take your pinch bolt back out and then the servo will be able to come out of the transmission. Now you have to understand if the transmission is assembled just like this one is, when you take that servo, servo off, the um, band will slide over and the lug will miss that hole. So in other words, if you went to put another servo in, the servo pin will not hit the lug on the band. Therefore, you would have to go in through this little hole right here, you may have to use a couple long screwdrivers and walk the band over until you see the lug through the hole that you know where the servo pin goes then you'll have to hold the band in that position kind of wedge it in there with a the screwdriver then you know put your um spring in and the servo and in this case there's actually a um sleeve that goes around the servo and then run your servo down and now um that is a little bit of a challenge you may actually have to have some help and of course, normally when you're using this tool, you're using it just to remove. And when you're going back on with it, you're doing an overhaul. You probably have the pump off. And of course, you could, you know, engage the band fine, you know, from the front side there. So, you know, that's what needs to be done there. For your reverse low or low reverse servo. Take it loose. Use the same front bolt there, but the rear one, we're gonna change positions. We're gonna go into this hole right here, and we'll use this screw hole and this screw hole. So just like with the overdrive, you know, run your, bolts down snug it with a wrench and then take your pinch bolt down lower the uh, servo cover you know and get the snap ring off now this snap ring is a little bit aggravating to get off you'll have to use a long uh, kind of skinny screwdriver you know, get behind the snap ring, pull it out, and you may need to use another small screwdriver to get behind the uh, snap ring so you can lift it out of the hole. It's a little bit aggravating to get that one out. Now this servo, however, you won't have the problem with the band. When you take the servo out, put your new servo in, it will index the lug because this band is kind of captured in this area. It's also a rigid type band. So therefore the lug will always be over the hole. You won't have that problem. Also, when you're going down with the servo cover, it's gonna walk around. So you're gonna to have to keep the cover located, you know, in the center as you run the pinch bolt down. Otherwise the seal on that cover might get hung up in the snap ring groove. So you get it, you know, centered up, lower it down, get the cover below the, the snap ring groove, and then you can, of course, install the snap ring. All 
All right, and the last thing that this tool will do is you can use it to compress the one two accumulator. Now there's a real long kind of heavy spring that's in this location. Uh, if you've watched my video, you, you will see that I can, you know, I'm pushing down on this with my thumb and then get the snap ring out. It's pretty difficult. The snap ring can easily, you know, fly off and the cover go, you know, flying up in the air, hit you in the head or something, you know, so always use safety glasses anytime you're working on car stuff. This tool will really help you out there. To use the tool on the one, two accumulator, you use this back hole here and this one in this location. Now you'll see the, the bolt will be, you know, open here, so it'll be unsupported. So therefore, when you, you know, uh, use it for the one, two accumulator, use this hole and this hole, and we'll line it right up. And what you want to do, you know, get them both in there, but tighten the, uh, the bolt that's furthest away away from the pinch bolt first, you know, go ahead and snug up this one first. And again, you don't have to get wild. All you're doing is just snugging it up. And then this one, if you started tightening this one up first, it would probably lift the back of the tool here and, and then you wouldn't be able to run the, uh, this bolt down. And of course, just like with the other ones, you, uh, take your, pinch bolt, run it down, and you you go down enough where that cover lowers, gets the uh, tension off the snap ring, and remove the snap ring. And of course, when you're going back together with it, you know, you, you put your accumulator in there, there's usually a spring that'll be on the bottom, then you'll have an accumulator, and then you'll have a, a much longer spring, typically, on this, uh, this top side, or it's actually the bottom side, you know, the transmission's upside down. And then as you're running the pinch bolt down of course the cover will move around on you so you again you need to kind of keep the cover centered so the uh, uh you know seal doesn't get hung in the snap ring groove you know keep running the pinch bolt down until the snap ring groove is revealed put your snap ring in you know take your pinch bolt back out and simply take the tool off all right well thank you very much for watching my video and as always good luck on your projects